players that they don't really know me that well. Well, just incredible with that pot. Steve Simmons doubling up there. He's got about $2.9 million. Yeah, he's moved into second chip position, Vance. Our chip leader still, J.C. Tran, with about $3.5 million in chips. And right now, the low man on the totem pole is Alan Gehring. He's got about $1.2 million. All right, action's going to be on, Steve, once again. This time looks down at 7-3 of diamonds. He goes out. And now J.C. Tran... The fast-moving player has 10-7. He's going to raise it. Well, this is playing some aggressive poker right here. 220,000 <laughs> bet by JC. Just trying to play some power poker. Michael Wu out, Allen out, and now Daniel Quach. Got to lay down his 10-4, and now it's around to Nemo. He has got the weapons of mass destruction, pair of aces. Well, he is loving it. He just got tortured with two jacks. Now he's picked up the bullets. Going to try to shoot down J.C. Tran and figure out how we can get some money from him. Five on. He's going to re-raise it and make it a half a million to go. I like the size of this raise, Vince. It's 280,000, just enough where you want to lure your opponent into the pot. Well, J.C. Tran messing around with 10-7. Has to put in an additional 280 if he wants to compete. With 280 more? Well, he's got the chips, though, Vince, but still... Nemo, a rather conservative player. When he comes over the top of you for 300,000, you'd think you'd just muck the 10-7 offsuit, but not J.C. Tran. He's made the call. Well, he's already involved. I think there's another 280. He's going to speculate and see the flop. Here we go. Well, the flop is queen 9-8, so J.C. Tran has flopped an open end straight draw. Action, of course, is going to be on Nemo. He's got the two aces, and they are the best hand right now. Danger looking everywhere. 600. He's not going to fool around. He's betting 600,000 here. And, Vince, that's about half his stack. So if you're sitting in J.C. Tran's seat, you should know right now that Nemo's going to be pot committed. And even if you raise him, he's not going to be going anywhere because there'll be so much money in the pot, he can't throw it away for another 600,000. But let's see what J.C. Tran is going to do with the open end straight draw. He is known as a wild player. He can do almost anything. All right, all in. Well, there you go. Well, that shows you the riverboat gambler that he is. He's going all in. He's going for it. Now, Nemo doesn't like it, Vince, but you just can't imagine the guy can lay down two aces in this spot. Things have turned around so quickly for Nemo, the little fishy. It's a terrible flop. I guess I'm first out there. I call. Well, he's calling. Yes, he has. He's going to like it a lot better when he sees J.C.'s hand. So they are gambling big time right now at the Commerce Casino here in Los Angeles. And Nemo, about a two-to-one favorite for his hand to hold up at this point. However, if he should get unlucky, he'd be our first man out. He'd be going back to Cyprus. But right now, he's the favorite to win it. Can he hold off? J.C. Tran here. Well, a queen comes off on the turn. So J.C. Tran is going to have to catch a six or a jack to make a straight to crack the two aces. Otherwise, our little fishy Nemo is going to double up in a big way. River card coming up. And the five of hearts comes off. He's done it. The fishy has survived. a little scary moment. And J.C. Tran says to himself, geez, maybe I shouldn't have called that re-raise before the flop. Got him in trouble. But new life for the fishy that could. Nemo doubling up, and with that pot, he has become the new chip leader. Right now, he's the shark, and they're the fish. Gambling-style poker going on here at the L.A. Poker Classic. Action on Daniel Quatch, the former poker dealer. Got a nice hand, Vince. He's got two tens. Oh, yeah. See how he's going to play him. And he's going to raise it. Healthy raise, too. Makes it 275,000 to go. Very excited. Nemo looks down at his queen eight. He likes to fold. Steve Simmons folds. J.C. Tran wants no moss with his 6-5. He's looking to take a rest here after that <laughs> beat he took on the last pot. Michael Wu folding. 
And now Alan Gehring in the big blind has just a 9-7 offsuit. Vince, his problem is he's on the short stack here at this table. 275? I'll call. It's going to cost him nearly 200000 more to call, which will put him under the million-dollar chip mark. Yet he is doing it, making a call with a 9-7 <laughs> offsuit. The guy has come to play, Vince. Oh, and look, look at this, Vince. He's hit lightning. Oh. He has flopped three nines here. Oh, show tunes going off in his head. He checks it. Daniel checks the two tens right behind him. That's a conservative play, but a nice one by Daniel right there. And now a queen comes off. Alan Gehring with his set of nines. Well, Alan is going to lead out and bet the three nines this time. Yep. But it's a smallish bet, Vince. He's bet 225,000 when there's 650,000 sitting on the table. And that's what Daniel's wondering about. I'll try to see what he have left. Is he just making a bet to try to pick up the pot? Does he really have my two tens beat? Well, Daniel Quatch has the open-ended straight draw plus the tens and nines, of course. It's a hand with those cards out there. You could get away from it if you wanted to, but you might want to call it, see if you can make a straight, perhaps a full house. Morning. Oh, but look at this. Wow. What a daring play by Daniel Quach. He's gone all in here with just two tens. I call. Well, Allen's going to call with the three nines. Well, he's going to like it. He's a pretty big favorite here. He sure is. Over a three to one favorite to win this pot right now. And he wants a little justice. He's been playing junk hands all night. Nothing materializing. This time, it could pay off. Well, Allen Gehring has got to dodge an eight, a king, and a ten. Those are the only cards that can beat him right now. Our former WPT Deuce. champion of the year, Alan Gehring. Well, he's all smiles right now, Vince. He knows he's a nice favorite to win this pot. Love to have his hand hold up and double up here. Here comes the river. Well, that's a queen. He was over a three to one favorite to win it. He, he dies it. He wipes his brow with relief. The unorthodox Alan Gehring doubling up right now at the LA Poker Classic. Stay tuned. We're coming right back with more on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the L.A. Poker Classic, where $7 million prize pool is at stake. $2.4 million to the winner. Let's go down to the felt. Steve Simmons right now has king, queen of diamonds. 200. And he's going to come in for 200,000. Into J.C. Tran, who's picked up midlife crises. Pair of fours. Says, I quickly call it. Michael Wu out. Allen quickly folding as well. And now it is around to Daniel Quach, and he has picked up the mother of all poker hands, pair of aces. Wow, some big hands we're seeing here tonight. See how Daniel's going to play his aces. One man's raised, another man's called. you got to pinch yourself when you pick up two aces in that spot. Find it. And he's going to bet 500000 Yeah, he's not going to play it sneaky. Well, he made the same bet that Nemo made, the half million with the two aces. And it sure paid off for him. He doubled up with his two aces. Uh, Nemo has a awful 10-6. Goes out, of course. And Steve says, I'm going to let you play. He goes out. And now back around to J.C. Tran with 44. Well, that's going to cost him another 300000 to make this call. Well, he is going to call with the two fours. So he's going to try to flop lightning and take Daniel Quatch out of this tournament. Let's see if he can do it. Another huge pot here. Well, Daniel, happy to get the action, believe me. You've got two aces you want to. Oh, yeah. Well, here we go with the flop. Oh, and an ace comes right on the flop. It's come ace jack five. Daniel Quatch has flopped the top set here. He's going to check it. He's going to oh. try to sandbag. You know, I love this play. And I love it because he's checking into an aggressive player. Well, he's put the big piece of cheese on the rat trap, waiting for J.C. Tran to snap. Well, what J.C. Tran is thinking about, maybe this guy's got a pair of tens or a pair of queens. Maybe if I bet, he'll think I've got aces, and he'll go running away. But that would be a fatal error on his part right now. J.C. Tran, gambling style kind of player. Can he slow down? No, he yeah. wants to take this. Well, he's making a stab at this pot, Vince. Ooh. He's betting 290000 Into the absolute nuts. Obviously, this play is not going to work, but you got to admire the heart of the guy for at least making the play. And now look at Daniel Quatch, who has now just turned into Satsquatch 
with this monster hand. Now, well, Vance, right now he's going for one of those little golden statues that you people have out in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, look at him. It's a performance, no doubt about it. I mean, his only decision is, does he call here and then check on the turn, hope his opponent bets again, or is he going ahead and raise it right now? Really, no possible flush out there. Oh. And he's just going to call. I like this play, Vince. I think that's the correct play right it's here. Thoughtful sucker call. Just, yes, I'm not that strong, but I'm going to call you. Here's the turn card, a seven. I'll tell you, the toughest part of this hand for Daniel is keeping your poker face when you just want to smile from ear to ear. He's going to try to trap again. He checks it. Oh, Vince, I'll tell you. J.C. Tran playing Russian roulette with six bullets in the gun right now. He is drawing dead in this hand. He's very much involved here. Will he slow down? Yes, very wisely slows down. He checks. All I can hope for now is that a four doesn't come up. Well, it's a three. Now let's see if Daniel's going to check to him at the river to give him one more chance to bet at this pot, or if he's just going to go ahead and make a little bet out of himself. All in. Well, he's going all in. He was just hoping J.C. had something he could call him with, but J.C. quickly gets away from the hand. Well, Vince, I'll tell you, it's the first time we've seen Daniel Quatch on the World Poker Tour, but I like his demeanor and calmness at the table as well. You know, this guy's got some game, it looks like to me. I'd rather be lucky than good. I went to work for six months. I found that it wasn't for me. Playing poker, I find it interesting and kind of easy. His girlfriend, Quantron, in the audience here tonight. This has got to be exciting for him. Back down to the table, J.C. Tran quickly folding. Round to Michael Wu. Well, Michael with the ace high here. He goes He's going to lay it down. Yeah, now Alan Gehring with queen 10 says, I'm going to raise this. Well, he doesn't need much to raise it. Going to raise it with the queen 10 here. Makes it 200,000 to go. Daniel Quatch can hardly look at his cards because the massive amount of chips in front of him. He's got nine six. He's going out. Because of the WPT hole cam brought to you by Budweiser. We can see that Nemo now looks at King-10 in a small blind. Very well aware that Alan Guerin could raise with any two cards. So he's going to take a look at a flop here with the King-10. He calls the $200,000 bet. And Steve Simmons with Motown Jackson Fives goes out. So here we go. The pop between the two retired businessmen. Flop comes up, Queen-7, Deuce, Allen, Gehring hitting the top pair. Nemo checks. But Allen is not going to push this. He checks it, trying to trap here a little bit. Wow. Check, check. Turn cards, a 10 of hearts, making two pair for Allen, Gehring. Well, it also makes a pair of 10s and a king eye flush draw for Nemo here. So, wow, what a turn card. Look for some fireworks here. Nemo's going to bet because he's got to think two 10s are the best hand right now. Yeah, the successful man from Cyprus betting into a 200 grand. Oh, Vince, you can't blame him here. After Allen checked on the flop, you have to think your two tens are good here. There's no way he can think Allen's got queens and tens right now. Oh, once again, the unorthodox Allen Gehring could be in a good place right now. 200,000? I call. Now, folks, this shows you how fearless Allen Gehring is because there's so many danger cards that could come on the river, but none of that scares Allen Gehring. He is just going to try to camouflage the strength of his hand, and the three of clubs comes off. Well, neither player is going to think that card helped the other guy. And well, once again, Nemo is going to bite. He's going to bet here, Vince, 200000 Make it 500 total. Allen making a $300,000 raise. <laughs> well, Nemo is not going to like this, but I guarantee he's scratching his head right now and saying, what could this guy have? He didn't bet on the flop. Hmm. Really? He just called me on the turn, and now all of a sudden he's going to raise on the river when the three of clubs comes off? How could that card help him? And it's the kind of raise, only $300,000 into a huge pot that is so seductive. But deep in your heart, when you have like tens in this position, you know you should lay the hand down. But why is it, Mike? <laughs> you just can't do it. The, the chips seem to go into the middle. Well, Vance, I guarantee you, it's curiosity that would make you call this time here. Oh. I mean, if Nemo lays this down, it'll be a great lay down, but he won't sleep tonight wondering what Alan Gehring had in his hand, I can oh. tell you. 
This is the kind of rays that can make your hair turn colors. <laughs>